Okay. George Hammerbacher back in the booth for day number two of the Virginia State 8-Ball Championships. Q Master Q Club in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. And uh, 50, 50 total players entered this event yesterday. 37 men and 13 ladies. Now we're down to four ladies and eight men. And... Uh, our first match is going to be a real pip. Two very, very explosive, great players. Know them both well. Uh, from uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chris Bruner, a young man that just has all the talent in the world. And he's really found himself this year with a couple of titles. And, and Eric Moore... Uh, uh, a great player himself, uh, plays from time to time, whenever he's here he's dangerous and he's he recovers all the tables here at Q Masters and, and other select places and a wonderful, wonderful guy. Uh, he's been working as a longshoreman a lot but when he, when he shows up you got to take notice. The winner of this match will go to uh, the hot seat match and be guaranteed third money. The loser will go to the one loss side and be guaranteed fifth, sixth money, And uh, but still in the event. This is a race to seven, eight ball. The eight ball does not count on the break. It gets re-spotted if it's made on the break and the breaker gets to either keep shooting from after the ball's spotted or the balls are rathered up and racked again and uh, rebroken. And uh, we're playing on four and a half foot diamond uh, table with four and a half inch pockets. Simonis 860 tournament blue cloth and uh, we're underway. Kind of a, a soft break from Eric. He, that was unusual. Uh, uh, Chris is a very, very, got a tremendous break shot. Young man that has all the shots. So it's very entertaining to watch him play. So here we go, folks. When the break, if a ball is pocketed, the breaker has to make a called shot in order to select a group. Otherwise, it's what they call an open table. But here we go. Hidden. Isn't really much of a percentage. You might play this three ball and get it out of the way. It's up table. Then come back for the six. My name is George Hammerbacher, voice of the Action Pool Tour. Advanced level instructor, professional billiard instructor association out of Baltimore, Maryland. I don't know if he cut this one enough. Nope. Eric might have ducked there. What I mean ducked was that he didn't see a clear run out and decided to relinquish the table. And let Chris take his best shot. Eric's very cerebral.
on the adjacent table. We have R.J. Carmona against Ray Martlin, two best friends. They're, they're in the top four on the winner's side as well, next to this table. R.J. took a one to nothing lead over Ray Mart. Good stroke from Eric. Four balls is puzzle. He recovered this table himself, so his his uh, little his little uh, pool table recovering company EFM. That's a lovely shot from Eric. Might go for the eight in the side pocket. Eric Moore takes a one to nothing lead over Mr. Chris Bruner. This is an alternate break format, so Eric. Uh, Chose to soft break those balls, or, or he mishit them. I can't really say for sure. Let's see if that's a trend. This, at the beginning of the day yesterday, this table broke really well. They called I call it a popcorn table, where you make two, three balls because the tables are freshly covered. There, Q Masters is having a a major straight pool event coming here in two weekends with the best players in the country and world gonna descend on Virginia Beach. Okay, Chris has pocketed a, a, a ball on the break and has his choice. But uh, the seven and another ball uh, the 10 look tied up, so. This is six of one, half a dozen of the other. That was an excellent shot from Bruner. He went two cushions, broke out his seven ball. Pretty shot. This looks pretty cut and dried now. Actually, the one ball is. A little bit of problem. <laughs>
Chris will probably roll this up to the corner and come across for the gate in the top left corner on the screen. Well struck, he might have gone a little farther than he liked, but he's good, I think. Chris Bruner evens the match up at one game apiece. Eric broke dry. It's one game apiece. RJ Carmona just took a two to nothing lead over Ray Mart Lem over there. There are the other match opposite this one on the winner's side. It's a shot here. Nobody likes to practice at the pool room. You can trust me on this one. The bridge over top the ball. Can't reach it. Got to use a rake. That's a natural if he makes it, though. So go right into 13 and 2. Tough shot. Nobody practices that one much. <laughs> Got him cooked behind the one ball. From just a Two or three real kick at the 13, looks about it. Jacked up over to one. Wants to dive short into the rail. And go in front of the 13. No strike. You see, it was a, it was a foul because Chris came behind the ball, struck it, but nothing reached a cushion after the, the the balls made contact. Chris hit his ball, the 13 ball, but 
There was no contact with the pocket or rail thereafter. Thus, Mr. Moore has ball in hand. With a chance to take a two games to one lead here. Come right back where he is. That's ideal. Shoot and stop. It's a little bit of a trickster. He's got to come all the way over, all the way back. And not get too straight with the three. Or just hit a soft. Ooh. In a couple weeks, that ball didn't go. He hadn't been playing as much, so sometimes his speed and touch might be a little more affected than otherwise. Eric Moore gets out. <laughs> Takes a two to one lead over Mr. Bruner. This is this is shaping up to be a real good match. I couldn't separate the two. Eric is hadn't been playing as much. He hadn't picked up a cue since July, he said. And I have to believe him. He works longshoreman and he recovers lots of pool tables. Recovered. This place has 75 of them at Q Master. The ball's in on the break, but no real run out looking pattern seems to jump out at me here. That was a nicely hit shot.
This should be a big safety here. Oh, it all came out of there. Whoa, so that was strange. Raymart Lim wins a game. He's trailing three games to one over there against RJ Carmona. He's going to go airborne. He's a great jump shooter, this Chris. <laughs> I hope he didn't twist a, twist a muscle in there. Look at a three ball. Yep. That's a pretty shot. Fifteen to go into the eleven. We've kind of twicked that ball a little bit. Played this different shot. This looks like pretty, pretty cut and dried business here. Chris Bruner evens a tally at two apiece.
What a layout this is. Wow. Other than the 12 ball. These balls look pretty easy for stripes. For solids too, for that matter. That's a good touch there. That's very, te very te delicate. Two five seven eight or seven two five eight. <laughs> It's all looking good now. Just draw it back about halfway to where he is. Oh, missed that ball. He just kind of slapped it. Hmm. That's a bad miss. This was curious why he did this. I think he made a mistake. He had position. Now he's he's looking into that ball where the two ball jiggled pocket. Might get out of it okay. to roll it in and play safe. He didn't call it, so it was a good strike, so, but Eric has a... So he, he was smart not to call it because he knew where his cue ball was going. Gives Eric nothing but a a kick at it at best. Not even a good one, really. Fine effort. A two ball is going to be a costly one. That's a ball that most people concede him.
I left two rails to the same pocket, I would think. Yep. He kind of wiggled that one in. Chris Bruner back on top by the score of three games to two. Very, very strange miss on the deuce from Eric. But like he said, he hadn't touched a cue since July. And that's pretty good to just get here and go undefeated on day one with not having hit any balls in a couple of months plus this guy plays continually all these balls upstream here he's got four Seven upstream. <laughs> what a what a layout. The three six are down there. There's a dead combo in the corner pocket, but he can can't do much with this. I don't think. Still an open table. He can play any combination he likes as long as he doesn't hit the eight first. To try and my say the five and oh combo. Chris, that was it might have the three six down here. Where that fall along the cushion. The twelve. Good shot. available this is other than the 11 this is looking doable on the 15. Might have to watch the hit.
Chris Bruner 4, Eric Moore 2. This is a set to 7. A, a 2 ball is... The game before is... Very... Unusual ball for Eric to miss. Has lost his cue ball. Chris has ball in hand. Chris seems to be in pretty good form now. He fell nice on the six in the side pocket. Heading up table to those three balls. Oh no. Bad miss from Chris now. It's just Eric's turn to answer. Looks like a key ball before the gate. Where he's going to shoot it now and come across. Perfect. Citizen or 12, 11, 10. Come out and hit the eight or be around the eight. That's what he doesn't like. This shot's a tougher shot. 
I don't know. Nope. He quicked it. Uh, too many balls he's missing. Here, it's much more game than that, believe me. He'll come in front of the three. Just like that. Yeah. Now snatches rock for the six in the side. Well, it's a 50 yard line. No. Both players a little sloppy here. Cross corner he called. Here it closes the gap to four games to three. Sponsors of the Action Pool Tour include Freedom Walk-In Tubs and Showers, new to the Action Pool Tour sponsorship uh, family. We have Q Sports International, Las Vegas, Nevada, Ozzy Reynolds, owner and founder of the Action Pull Tour original, 
now owns that corporation. They're the North American uh, owners of the BCA pool leagues and North American distributors of Magic Rack. They hold many regional tournaments and national events, including the big BCA uh, extravaganza at the Rio every year that eight, ten thousand 10,000 players show up for of all descriptions. They're also the home of the American Billiard Club, the home of uh, 14 of American rotation. A sport I've played, which is a really good league game for individual. It's really improved my nine ball, ten ball games. Also Predator Qs and Predator Products. They make much more than just high tech Qs and shafts. They make gloves, cases, chalk. I saw Predator Balls at, out there at, uh, at the U.S. Bar Table Championships. And they're highly regarded by the players. Also, we have Kamui products, Kamui tips and chalk. The players love it. That's a beautiful shot, Eric is right in line now. Ooh, just bled that one in. <laughs> now he has this 11, so he can play the 12 on the side and roll to the 15. That's where he's getting his line of sight. A little more angle than he'd like. Oh no. Oh. 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 Hmm. Unexpected opportunity for Chris. That would have been a 4 4 even Steven now. 5 3 is a whole lot different in a race to 7. Playing the three in the side off the 12. Yep. I'll put his 12 ball in the mess. I'm a little confused here, must be. Oh, the eight ball is also in that.
Chris Brenner takes a 5-3 lead. Uh, some, some strange unforced errors here for sure. Eric has missed three balls that were far much of a surprise. Other sponsors of the Action Pool Tour include Diamond Tables that these players are playing on right now. Also sponsors the Action Tour include Simonis Cloth. They're playing on the Simonis 860 Tournament Blue with Aramith Balls. All standards of the industry. The players would prefer them worldwide. We have Viking Cues out of Madison, Wisconsin. Very fine uh, pull cues from the Viking people. Originally, Gordon and Nancy Hart. I lived in Wisconsin. A lot of people I played up there sported those cues and were very, very enjoying of those of those cudgels. Maybe roll forward to the nine. Or stop it for the nine in the corner. That's hard to say. That makes sense. Drift over for the 12. Come near the one, on the front of the one. Beautiful shot. Nice out from Eric. Closes the gap to five games to four. Other sponsors of the Action Tour include Ozone uh, Billiards. About anything you can think of for the pool and billiard game, give Ozone a, a call. They have free shipping. We have Tiger Cues, Tiger Products. We have our great venues. We have Diamond Billiards. We'll be there next month, Mid Lothian, Virginia. The Dorsey family. We're there three times a year. Q Masters, the place we're here right now. This is four times a year. Chris had his choice, and, not the t and, he, and it got away from him. He was bidding to go on the hill. These balls are all hangers. Uh, 
Eric will be glad to accept the gift. He's given up a couple gifts himself. Uh-oh. He might have got lucky. I don't know if the nine's going to pass his 14. Kind of punch that ball, hit it a little fast again. He's a little out of rhythm, out of sorts. We have Grant Wiley Photography. Grant's a husband of Chris Wiley. Beauty, Eric. It's a Chick's cabinets, Brown's mechanical heating and air conditioning systems in Richmond, Hasselman and Hunt family dentistry. Dr. Dave Hunt has been playing regularly on the action tour for a number of years. Beautiful shot. Don't jack him up, he says. He's got a nice look at this ball. Bidding to make it five to five. Drills the joker home and is going to be get the bridge. <laughs> Eric Moore takes advantage of an unforced error from Bruner and evens the match at five apiece. We also have East Coast Landscaping, Larry Flager, a, a wonderful guy, just to laugh a second. Miss Larry, I thought he might be here today, but he might have been out working because Larry works harder than any 10 men I've ever known. Good man. If you're listening, Larry, uh, lots of love, baby. Other other venues of the action tour include Peninsula Billiards and Newport News. Uh, they treat us like kings in their bar table events. Uh, nice venue. They have plenty of ta room between tables. Nice place to play. It's 5-5, five, five and Eric fails on his break, and the stripes look clean. I know Chris wants to play those stripes. Fade to the nine. Well, this 15's pretty good too. That isn't what he wanted. He wanted a better shot in the 11 than this. I did good with that. Angles would deceive me. He'll pinch a nine to the 14.
Very good shot. He's going to play the 14 real soft. We'll play the 13, come around three rails. High right ball. Boy, that's, that's superb right there. Oh! He got a little funny there. The Action Pool Tour is a regional tour plays in Maryland and Virginia. And they feature eight, nine, and ten ball disciplines with five different levels of players. Exception are only in the entry fees. All matches on the table are played even. But entry fees for these two gentlemen are they're considered professionals, hundred dollars. And uh, semi-pro players, my friend James Blackburn from North Carolina, $80. Advanced or better than average players, 60 Intermediates or B, 50 Novices or non-pro ladies pay 40 to play with the men. But since this is a state, uh-oh state championship might be banking this ball that's where he pointed in his pocket I believe Seven is the one Eric likes next. Play the four and then the seven, I think. I liked it, yeah. He's gonna get like straight in on the one, roll to the two on the side, I think. He's not particularly happy with this. That was a wonderful shot. That was the that was the difference maker. This is hard shot. This is touch shot. He doesn't like it. It's real. He's going to put his faith in how his, how his table work was. Let the ball and roll on him. That's, that's impressive. This could be a, a three railer. It's got to scratch off the ball. Oh. Oh.
ate the side. I'm gonna take it. Eric Moore is on the hill. Six games to five. This is a barn burner match. Wow, these balls are all open. He might have to play it off the 13. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I thought he was going to try to play it off the 13, maybe. But Eric has the high balls, that's for sure. And Chris is in a... Drills the bank. Now Chris is in, in line. High right ball to the seven, perhaps. Or draw to the rail. Perfect. Well, here we go. It's action time. Six apiece. <coughs> here it is. A race to one. And... Winner of this goes to the hot seat match. It looks like to play uh, R.J. Carmona. I don't think Raymart Ray only got the three.
Here's the big, big one right here. Low balls look good. Now they don't look so good. The Action Pool Tour also features a break and run contest uh, once a, near the end of each first day and a second chance tournament for those unfortunate people that got eliminated on Saturday before the money. They, they travel, they give them another, another short mini tournament to play for half the entry fee. But they still can win some real bucks and maybe get some shine back in them. It's always nine ball for the second chance. Races to four, even up with, the, again, half of the graduated entry fees. The Action Tour adds. It doesn't take out any any of the entry fee money and all entry all tournaments they're added money. And uh, Chris Wiley and Tiger Baker have done an exceptional job here in the last year. After purchasing the tour from oh they rolled right around the eight. Purchasing the tour from Mozzie Reynolds. Meanwhile, Chris is hooked behind the eight and has I don't know what he's got here. Played safety. Eric is and Chris are six six here. They might might call a referee here in case whenever you have any kind of questionable calls, always get a referee or a third party. That way you never have a misunderstanding. He can bank them like anybody's business, this boy. Got all the shots. He might go real first. Now he's going to play three in the side. There's lots of pool to be played with these balls, though. Didn't quite turn out right. He's gonna play the seven. 
in the lower left corner on your screen. And come all the way up table and land on the top rail, protecting this cue ball from the 10 that's hanging near the corner pocket up here in the lower right. He's going to bank a seven. I don't know if he can do that. Excuse me. That's the only one. Yeah. Looking for something to break out that 9 1. This is pretty much still a jigsaw puzzle. I sort of like the 15 in the side myself. Just draw it just slightly to, to catch the nine. Like that. Now he's, he's gonna have to, he has that said that stripe ball is the saver, the 12. He'll never ask for a better shot than this. He's got to play the 12 and open up that pocket. Oh, he bumped that 9. That's not going to help him. That hurt him. What's the nine pisses is seven. I guess that it must. Sure did. Kind of like, uh, he's going to have to cut the eight in and turn his cue ball loose for the do re me. He's going to have to cut it in the side. Probably go right at the seven. Might go with the hole down there. Tables are very fast. Doesn't have any place to hide. Playing the top corner pocket. He tied up the two. He, he did the best he could. Tough shot. Now Chris has a a two railer, one railer. To come into the two ball, off the seven. He's got to shoot the shot now. We got hit it kind of quick and hmm. to be be on the hill hill and in this spot he's laughing he has a big smile on his face they're both smiling 
Yeah, two competitors. This boy has really improved as he's got he's matured so much. This Chris Bruner. He's he's won a couple of events this year and like he was never hurting for talent. Nice boy, just sometimes he just has temperament and problems. I'm gonna probably try to play safe. Off the inside of the one and outside of the one and roll behind the two. RJ Carmona, I believe, is, has moved to the hot seat match and Can't get that careless. <laughs> this is Maybe an earthquake is his hope. Good strike. What? He left him the clear cue ball, what it looked like. Huh. Yeah, this bizarre, a bizarre match to be sure. Oh, he fans on it. See, Chris in his pass might have taken a wild shot at the five ball. No strike. He's got to play his deuce. What? The two must go past the eight. What? See, I don't see what Chris sees. Just got to make this ball and stay on the table. All the way on the side rail to make it interesting. Chris Bruner ultimately takes down Eric Moore. By the score of seven games to six. We'll be back in a few minutes with some more live stream video action on the Action Pool Tour. Eric lost that match with a couple of those bizarre balls he missed earlier in the set. and It was uh, a real, real tough, tough match for either one of them to lose. So Chris Bruner advances to the hot seat and will play R.J. Carmona. Next, and on the winner's side, and Eric is going to go to the one loss side and wait for his next opportunity. George Hammerbacher, Voice of the Action Pool Tour, will be back in a few moments for some more live stream action.